Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is another assignment question on impedance parameters from my friend from Nigeria. So let's straight away go to the question. But just recall that in the uh, impedance parameters we have to find these four quantities Z11, Z21 when I2 is 0 and Z12, Z22 when I1 is 0. Now the earlier we solved uh, this type of a problem which was very simple network and it was easy to find the relation between V1 and I1 and also between V2 and I1 etc. So this was simple but uh, the current problem is not that simple because this has now a kind of a, a difficult networking so we have to concentrate more how we will follow the similar principle. So let's go. Okay, so the, in the question we have to calculate the impedance parameters for this given circuit. So uh, and we just keep this in front of us so we know what we have to find out. Now to uh, find the first two, we have to put I2 0. So this is and is I2 and this is I1. So we have to keep this open and we'll connect a voltage source towards the left hand side. So let's see. So the circuit will become something like this. We have connected a voltage source, current I1. We have left the other side open. So I2 is equal to 0 and the end terminal voltage is V2. Now for our ease, uh, we'll add a couple of uh, parameters here like the currents and the node voltages etc. So this is uh, the circuit now we have. This current I1, fine. We'll name this current as Ix. This is I3. Current here is I4. This is I2 which is 0. This is node 1 and node 2. Node 1 voltage is Vx because this voltage is Vx, so it is same voltage here. And node 2 voltage is V2 because this V2 is same as here V2, so we'll name it V2. So now let's start and write uh, the uh, nodal equation at node 1. We can write the KCL. So KCL equation current entering is I1 is equal to current leaving Ix plus I3, so Ix plus I3. Now we'll convert this in terms of a voltage. So I1, you can see I have written 0 minus Vx plus V1. So let me explain, uh, although if you have uh, read my nodal analysis part, it will be easier for you to understand. But anyway, this point is called the reference point or zero voltage point. So we are going from here to Vx, I1. So we will call it zero minus Vx. So zero minus Vx. But then there is another voltage source in the path. So we'll see what is the direction of current for this voltage source. Now the current emerges from the positive terminal for so the current will go up and it is in the same direction as the current I1. Therefore, we will write this V1 with a plus sign. So, we write plus V1 and then divide by the resistance 20. So, this is I1. Ix is simple. Vx minus 0 divided by 50. We don't write minus 0, so we just write Vx divided by 50. And similarly, this one is also easy, I3, Vx minus V2 divided by 100. So Vx minus V2 divided by 100. And we just solve it, manipulate, and this is uh, the final shape that we have got, V1 in terms of Vx and V2. So this is our equation number 1 for node 1. Now let's move on to the node number 2. And node number 2 also you see I3 entering, I2 entering and I4 leaving. So we write I3 plus I2 equals I4 
So I3 is same as it was here. So Vx minus V2 over 100. I2 is 0. So we write it as 0. And now let's see I4. Again, I4 is V2 minus 0 divided by 60. But we'll have to also include this. Now the current direction is from top to bottom. Because of this dependent source also the current will go out from positive. So it is also from top to bottom. So we'll add this 12x. So we write it with plus sign. So plus 12x and divided by 60. And this we simplify and we find V2 in terms of uh, Vx. So this is our equation number 2. Now we need I1 in terms of V1 to find the first parameter because it's a ratio of V1 over I1. Now neither here we have uh, I1 nor here we have I1. So what we need to do is write the equation for I1. So the I1 equation that we have written here, if we eliminate the 0, then it will be minus Vx plus V1 over 20. So this is the I1 uh, equation. And now if we can eliminate Vx or write Vx in terms of uh, V1, then it will be easier uh, for us to find V1 over I1. So just point of ponder, think about it, how do we do? So one point um, that comes into um, the mind is that here we have V2 which is in terms of Vx. If we place it here then we'll have V1 in terms of Vx and from here we can get Vx in terms of V1 and now if you plug in Vx in terms of V1 here then we'll have I1 and V1 and so we can get the first relation. So let's do that. What we are doing? This is the equation. We are replacing V2. We are replacing V2 with this value. So replaced V2 with this value and then simplify we get V1 in terms of Vx and from here we write Vx in terms of V1 so we are getting Vx in terms of V1 and now we can replace this here with 40 divided by 120 V1 so we'll have a relation between I1 and V1 so let's do that now putting Vx in equation number 3, replacing this by this term, simplifying, we get 81 over 2420 V1. Sorry, it's uh, slightly difficult to visualize here, but we'll go to the next slide. So we had got this relation which was not very clearly visible. I1 is 81 divided by 24220 V1. And so from here we can say that Z11 is V1 over I1. V1 over I1 here and this will go on the other side. So it will be 2420 divided by 81 which is equal to 29.87 ohm. Now let's come to Z21. We will straight away use the formula that for Z21 is V2 over I1. Now let's see if we have the value of V2. Yes, V2 is in terms of Vx. So we'll plug in that here. Okay, so we plugged in the value of uh, V2 in terms of Vx. But we need V1. So Let's see if we have Vx in terms of V1. Yes, we have here equation number 4. Vx was 40 over 121 V1. So we'll plug this value here as well. And so our uh, equation will become like this. Now we have got a term uh, V1 over I1 minus 235 V1 over I1. And V1 over I1 is actually 
z11 v1 over i1 29.87 so we uh, write 29.87 for that and so the net answer is minus 70.35 ohm this is z21 so the first two parameters were found now let's move on to the second two now again here we have moved the source to the right hand side and we have kept this portion as open here also we will follow similar techniques at node 1 we are writing the current entering current leaving equation current entering i1 is now 0 so from here we get or find vx in terms of v2 now since vx and v1 are same because current is 0 so there is no voltage drop here therefore we can write that v1 is equal to vx is equal to v2 over 3 so this is our equation number 5 now let's go to node number 2 at node 2 here also i3 entering i2 entering and i4 leaving so i3 plus i2 equals i4 i3 we know from here is vx minus v2 over 100 i2 we will just write it like that because we have to find this value and i4 we have already done it uh, same technique v2 minus 0 and this will be added because current in the same direction so plus 12x so from here solving and solving and solving we come up to this point now we replace vx with this value v2 uh, over 3 so now we have answer in terms of a v2 i2 and v2 now i2 and v2 you can see this relation we can get z22 so z22 from here will be 54 over 60 uh, or from here i2 is 54 over 600 v2 and so z22 will be v2 over i2 that is 600 over 54 is equal to 11.11 ohm and now to find z12 from equation 5 from equation 5 v2 is equal to 3v1 putting in equation 6 now this one we have v2 so we'll put that value of v2 as 3v1 so we get the v1 terms so v2 is replaced by 3v1 so we get this term uh, 54 divided by 200 v1 3 uh, gets cancelled here and now we can find v1 over i2 from here v1 over i2 which is z12 v1 over i2 is 200 divided by 54 is equal to 3.7 ohms so i hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of problem slightly difficult but if you follow the steps it will be easier thank you